the fund industry tries to make paying for active management seem like a no-brainer. Just choose a staff fund manager, the message goes, and invest with them. But one of the problems with star managers is that there are so few of them. David Blake from Cass Business School says they account for a very small part of the fund industry, probably around 1%. It's tiny in relation to the size of the industry and the size of the assets under management. And it's remarkable that uh, today we're still talking about this, given that the evidence has been there for 30 or 40 years, that active fund managers cannot systematically beat the market on a risk and cost-adjusted basis. You can name the star fund managers. You, you know them by name. To go back to Graham and Dodd in the US, there was, there was Peter Lynch, uh, there was uh, you know, Anthony Bolton over here, perhaps Neil Woodford and so on. You can, they're a very small set of star fund managers and you can name them. David Blake has spent many years studying fund performance around the world and says it differs very little from country to country. The dreadful performance of funds in the US in recent years has been well documented. But the data for Europe, Asia and Australasia is not too dissimilar. We've looked at a whole range of data sets to demonstrate this. We had no vested interest in, in denigrating active fund management. We were just looking for the evidence to see what their genuine performance was. So why do so many people still use active funds? Well, David Blake puts it down to marketing and the ability of the big fund management companies to keep reinventing themselves. All the evidence shows that it, it fails. It's on a systematic basis, you cannot, you cannot time markets. Fund managers can't time markets. Yet they continue to think and reinvent themselves and come back with a new strategy. And unfortunately, consumers are fooled into, into trying these things out. Thank you to Dr David Blake from Cass Business School and to you for watching.